Hello, I'm Karen from iPad Lettering and in this video I want to show you how to make your own stickers for your digital bullet journal in Procreate. You will be able to use these stickers in GoodNotes, Notability, Zinnia or any other digital bullet journaling app you like to use. As you know, I'm using Zinnia for my own bullet journals and one of the things that sometimes frustrates me is that I have to decide on the exact color I want to use for my headers or doodles. So if I don't like it, I can't just change the color, but I have to rewrite it. And I also can't reuse many of the elements that I create because I like using different color schemes every month. So what we can do instead is create stickers in Procreate and then save them as digital files that we can use in any of our journaling apps. And of course, another benefit is that we get to use all the amazing Procreate brushes to create any effect we like. Let me show you how to create a beautiful set of watercolor stickers that will look really cute in your planner. Let's start the Procreate app and the canvas I have here is just the screen size canvas. And then we're also going to turn on the drawing guide so that we have some guidelines for our stickers. I thought it would be really cute to create a set of weekday stickers. And for this sticker set, I'm going to use a watercolor brush and I'm going to use the iPad Let Together August 2020 brush but of course you can use any other watercolor brush that you have or any of your favorite Procreate brushes. So now what we're going to do is write all the weekdays and you want to make sure that you create a new layer for each word that you write. So now we're just going to go in and write Monday and when you write the word you want to use up as much of the space that you have available here. So now we're going to create a new layer and then we are going to write Tuesday. And we're going to repeat this process for all the days of the week. The color that you choose for writing these letters doesn't matter so much. I've just selected black because it makes it the easiest for you to see how I write. But if you would like to choose any other color, definitely feel free to do that. All right, so now we have all the days of the week on separate layers. So now what we're gonna do next is actually turn all these layers on. And of course, this makes it really hard to see the individual word. But now what we wanna do is actually crop this canvas because we wanna have it as tight as possible with the letters. And you'll see why once we export this. So now what we're gonna do is go to canvas and crop and resize. And now you just wanna make it as small as your biggest letter here. So you don't want to cut them off, but you want to crop them reasonably close here. And so now this looks pretty good. And then we tap done. So now this is going to crop our canvas. And then the next thing we need to do is turn off the background color so that we have a transparent background. And now we can export all these layers. What you might like to do as well is actually name this canvas so that you can recognize the file name when we export it. So now we're going to go to the gallery and then we are going to name this canvas. And I'm just going to call this weekdays. And now we can export all these layers. And the reason why we've put them all on separate layers is because we can now tap on share. And then you'll see here it says share layers. We have the ability to share PNG files and PNG files will save this file with a transparent background, which is exactly what we want. So now we tap on PNG files and then in the export dialog, it's actually really important that you select save to files and not save seven images because if you save this to your photos app the png files might actually get converted to jpeg files depending on your icloud setting this can happen really easily when you have manage icloud storage turned on because then it tries to preserve that file storage on your ipad and the png files with the transparent background are larger files and that's why we're going to select save to files and then you can save it to your iCloud Drive or any of your other cloud storage services that you might have. I'm going to save it to iCloud Drive and then we're going to tap save. And so now it has exported all these files. So now we're going to open up the files app and you can see now how we've got our weekdays here. And you can also see here how it's named them weekdays because that was the name of our canvas. And then it just went through and numbered them from one to seven, which I think is fine. All right, so now this is the first step done. So now you can go to your favorite journaling app. I'm gonna start up GoodNotes here and I'm gonna bring up the files app next to GoodNotes. So now what you can do is just drag this sticker into GoodNotes. 
and then you can resize it and then you can use it for your journal and then of course we can do the same thing with Xenia as well so I can just drag this into Xenia and then I have my sticker here which is nice and handy so now they're all black of course and black is a little bit boring right so now what we can do is actually we can color these in and so now what I recommend is that you duplicate this canvas and then use a duplicate for coloring these stickers in so now I'm going to unselect all the stickers except for Monday now we can color this in and the easiest way to do that is to alpha lock all the layers by swiping right on them like this and then you can choose any of your favorite colors let's use this apricot color here and then you tap on fill layer and so now this fills the layer so now we're going to do this for all the other layers as well you have to turn them on first in order to fill them so we're going to just tap fill layer and then you might also like to rename this file before you export it so instead of calling it weekdays maybe we are going to call it weekdays peach and now we can export all these layers again as png files and again i'm going to save it to the files app and now we can bring them into Xenia or GoodNotes or any of your favorite journaling apps and so you can see now how super handy this is so now we have a different set of stickers for different colors but then of course you can also create your own shapes your own doodles so the options are endless of how you would like to create your digital stickers with that procreate app i really hope this short tutorial was useful give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and then i also recommend that you watch my other video where i'm going to show you not just how to create the stickers but also how you can animate them so that you can use them in your instagram stories thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video